Okay, girls, Coach Grimes here with your forehand analysis. I just wanted to do this to reinforce some of the things that we've been talking about in class. This excerpt is going to be from a little while back because it's one of the few times where we had all three returning varsity players in one place. I'm only going to say a little bit about Mika because, quite frankly, uh, she has improved so much that this video doesn't really reflect how she's hitting now. So let's get started. In this sequence, I've instructed you to hit cross court, and I'm hand feeding. So the first thing I noticed was a very long racket preparation. Stopping the video here, you see that Mel's racket is to the left of her body, making for a very long swing path to the ball and increasing the likelihood of a miss hit. Moving on, we see that Athena also has a very long racket preparation. Her racket is actually facing the back fence. And finally, Emily, who also prepares her racket far to the back. I should point out that players on the WTA Tour do prepare their rackets in this manner. However, there are two differences between them and us. One, they have been playing since they were about seven years old and have tremendous timing. Two, the pro game relies much more on power than high school tennis. For us, it is prudent to have a shorter racket preparation so that we are less likely to miss hit the ball. Ironically, it is the freshman Mika who has the shortest backswing. The next thing I noticed was our weight transfer, or lack thereof. Notice how Melanie's body is pivoted away from the ball. Her right foot is actually to the left of her body. This almost guarantees that the force of your swing is generated primarily by your arm and not your body. We see here that Athena does a much better job of transferring her body weight. Her hips do rotate forward, although she ends up in more of a neutral stance rather than 90% of her weight on her front foot. I would like to see her right shoulder come forward and point towards the net. Emily also does an okay job of transferring her weight, but she drags her right foot behind her, robbing her hips of some rotation. I would also like to see more shoulder rotation, and I would like to see her right knee collapse forward so that it is even with her left knee. To recap, I would like to see a shorter racket preparation, say hi to the fence to cut down on some of those miss hits. I would like to see you prepare with your right foot outboard of your left foot, which will allow full rotation into the shot. I want to see those hips rotate and that right knee collapse forward. Finally, I'd like to see you start with your left shoulder pointing towards the net and end with your right shoulder pointing towards the net. That's it for today. I'm Coach Grimes. See you on the court.